Hoffman, and welcome to another edition of the Guam Crime Stoppers Report. With me once again is Guam Crime Stoppers Coordinator Officer Paul Tafau. And we also have a special guest, the Mayor of Barragata, June Bloss. Thanks so much for being with us uh, tonight. And you, of course, are here to talk to us about uh, the Neighborhood Watch program that you guys launched, mm. right? Yes, I am. Now, when did, when did you realize um, that enough was enough? And um, was there any particular incident that occurred that provoked you to just well, say, I've got to do something about this? It, it all happened when we first launched, you know, and, and coming in as a mayor, the vice mayor and I said, you know, we, there was a lot of crimes that are happening in our village so that we need to get together as a village and as a community and work on sections. So try to find where the most um, crimes have been committed. Mm -hmm. So uh, getting with the residents, we've decided, okay, let's launch from there and work with the residents, get it together, and, and, and then branch out. Mm -hmm. So uh, unfortunately with the uh, invasion, this, uh, what we had planned already was in the working um, mm -hmm. since then. And it's just unfortunate that's the time, you know, that the thing happened, but. Uh, and how, how did Guam Crime Stoppers, how did you guys connect? Well, it's, um, it's pretty much the fate. Um, I was down at the uh, municipal, the mayor's council, mm -hmm. doing mm -hmm. a Crime Stoppers presentation and I presented to the, uh, the panels of mayors that were present and the vice mayor that were present about the uh, Crime Stoppers program and launching a village watch program. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I was asked by the mayor and vice mayor for Agata to attend one meeting, uh, which was that same night at the uh, Jolie uh, Leon Guerrero Street. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. From there, I met with the uh, constituents of the village, uh, the village of Barragata. And we, with the Guam Police Department and the efforts of the Guam Crime Stoppers, we pushed uh, with the villagers in moving the program forward right. and like, uh, Mayor June had mentioned June 12th was our go date and it was just really unfortunate that everything yes. fell on that date but mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we got it going and our goal now is to expand to the outskirts of the mm -hmm. remaining um, re areas of Bergada. What has been the response I guess from um, the, your constituents? It's been very positive. Um, they all want to be team captains and where do we sign up and uh, you know like pointers of what do they do, what to suspect, and all that. And, and I always tell them that you're the, your neighbor's watcher. You know, you're the keeper. You know, you know when they come in and go out. Something suspicious, you gotta call it in. You know, overgrown vegetations and all that. You, they need to cut it down. Mm -hmm. So, you know, trying to work together as a, as a community because one man or one person can't, don't do, can't do this alone, mm -hmm. really you can't. Mm -hmm. Barragat, of course, is just one village. That's um, correct. Have you received any uh, feedback from your fellow mayors? Well, uh, know that that uh, I've encouraged them that mm -hmm. they should uh, put a neighborhood watch together. I know there's some villages already. They're going to launch soon. I think yes. is it Jigo? Yeah. We're going to be working with um, some villagers from Jigo mm -hmm. in the Dedalu area, as well right. with the uh, District One, the Guam Police uh, uh, Northern Precinct, which is. Uh, District one, and mm -hmm. we're going to be, you know, the same steps that we took with the Barragata right. village is pretty much the same approach we're going to take with uh, the northern villages. So it's it, it's in progress as we speak. Okay. Well, what mm -hmm. do you have for us this week? Well, unfortunately, <laughs> Madam Mayor is here with us, and uh, today's uh, this week's crime report involves a uh, um, a theft of property complaint within the village of Barragata. It was on Friday, May 24th at 2.40 in the afternoon. Haganya Precinct Command Officers responded to a theft of property complaint at 120 Nguaguan Place, Barragata. According to the police report, at about 1.21 p.m. that afternoon, the homeowner had indicated that two unknown males had stole her tamper hammer, which is a handheld tool that hooks to a compressor from the bed of her truck, which was parked within her driveway. The police report indicated through the observation from a surveillance footage, at 1.21 p.m., the suspect vehicle, only described as a silver Toyota Corolla, had drove by the front entrance with two male occupants in the Corolla. The suspect reversed his vehicle into the driveway of the residence. The operator then exited the Corolla, opened the rear driveway, driver's door and proceeded to lower the homeowner's truck's tailgate. The male suspect then grabbed the tamping hammer and placed it into the rear passenger area of the Corolla. The suspects fled northbound on San Vicente Street towards Route 8, Purple Heart Highway, Barragata. It should be noted that the suspect vehicle appeared to have damages to the hood and rear windshield, with the rear windshield covered by plastic. The male operator is only described as 
possibly loco, heavy set, short black hair, dark complexion, and was last seen wearing dark shorts and dark shirt. If you have any information about this case, please call the Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP or text 688-STOP. You can also visit our webpage at www.guam.crimestoppersweb.com or call the Guam Police Department at 475-8615-647. Guam Crime Stoppers wants to remind the public that we do not use caller ID and you do not have to leave your name. You can receive a cash reward of up to $1,000 if the information provided leads to the arrest and conviction for the person or persons responsible for this crime or any other crime. And that, my friends, is another reason why if you live in Barragata or any village on Guam, that you need to come forward and take back our communities. Mayor, any final comments? Well, I, I want to thank you first off for inviting me and also Officer Tapao. The GPD has been very responsive, um, really taking our, our calls very serious and the crimes that have been committed in our community that um, they should call in, call our office, uh, for any crimes that have been committed so that we can always make follow-ups with GPD. Our numbers are 734-3737 or 3859. Thank hey, you. Paul, any final comments? Just the efforts, the efforts that um, the different villages are showing towards um, forming a neighborhood watch program. It's that one step that we're taking in crime prevention and I commend everybody that's coming forward. And thank yes. you again for having us here tonight. All right, thank well, thank you. you. Thanks again for coming. And remember, you can take back our community by participating in the Guam Crime Stoppers program or get involved with the Neighborhood Watch program once it comes to your village. Um, if you have any information about this crime or any other crime, please call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. That's 477-4357 or text 688-STOP. Thanks for watching and stay safe.